Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SQL Server performance monitoring and tuning video brought to you by SQLworkshops.com. In this video, we will take a look at data access latency in always on availability groups, synchronous, readable, secondary. With always on availability groups, when you configure a secondary in synchronous commit mode for read-only access, there can be data access latency. What do I mean by this? If you make changes to your data, like if you perform insert, update, or delete in primary, those changes may not be visible in the secondary synchronous replica enabled for read-only access for certain amount of time because writing to log is synchronous but not redo. Redo is asynchronous. That is, applying those changes from log is asynchronous. Let's look at an example. To follow this example along with me, you need the SQL test tool. To get the SQL test tool, you can go to the website sqltest.org and click on download. There you will find the link to install SQL test. Once you have the SQL test tool installed, you can go to File, Open Online Examples. There you will find the example SQL test underscore always on synchronous replica data latency. Click OK to open this example. Here we have availability group SQL AG1 setup. Let's look at the properties. There you see we have four instances involved. SQL 2014, N1, N2, N3, N4. N1 is primary. And we have all of them in the synchronous commit mode except N4, which is in the asynchronous commit mode. And all of them have readable secondary enabled. Let's right click and look at the dashboard. There you see all of them are healthy. Now let's go to the SQL test tool and let's create the table. Here we are creating table tab 72 to practice this example. This table has three columns. Column one, integer, primary key. It is also an identity column. And then we have C2 and C3. C2 is integer, C3 is character. 20. Let's create this table. I am creating this table on the instance SQL 2014 N1 slash SQL 2014. Normally, when you open an online example, you will have the default connection string, which is local. Since my setup is not a local instance, I created a file called SQL test examples connection string. Here I saved my connection string. If you have such a file and you have a connection string there, every time you open the online example, it will take the connection string from there. If you want additional details, you can look at file, open online examples, and check out the example SQL test underscore online examples setup. Let's create this table. To create this table, you click on Workload 4 and you click on Start Current. The table has been created. Now we are going to Workload 1 and we are going to execute this insert statement 50,000 times. We are inserting for values for columns C2 and C3. For C2, I have this placeholder called SQL test underscore iteration. For C3, I have replicate A20. If you have this placeholder, it will insert or substitute the iteration, current iteration number before executing this query. If you want additional information, you can go to the SQL test tool, place your cursor on this SQL command rich text box and press F1. There you will see the help. There you see SQL test iteration substitutes iteration number. 
So when you execute for first iteration, it will have a value one, second iteration two, and so on. Also, one more thing I want to show you here. If you go to settings and workload settings, you will see here a five millisecond delay before every iteration. This is before inserting every row, I want to wait for five milliseconds. So the inserts are not so heavy. They have five milliseconds delay between them. Let's press OK and let's start this workload. Before we start, let's go to settings, comments, and copy these statements into our management studio window. What this statement is doing is it is selecting max value of column one from all of our four instances, the primary, the two secondary in the synchronous commit mode, and the last one, which is in the asynchronous commit mode. Let's execute. You will have nulls because we haven't inserted a single row into this table. Let's go to SQL test workload one. Let's do start current. So there you see it is inserting into this table. Now let's go to management studio window and let's refresh. There you see in the primary, we have max C1 1048. The node two, we have 1048, but node three, which is also in the synchronous commit mode as 1046. It is not the same, there is a lag. Let's execute this couple of times. 3605, 3582, 3582, 3596. In this case, looks like even the asynchronous commit mode replica is a bit ahead of synchronous commit mode replica. Let's execute. Now, primary is ahead. All secondaries seem to be in the same state. Now, this is a bit lagging, but the asynchronous secondary is a bit ahead. Let's refresh a couple of times. There you see, even between these two synchronous commit mode secondaries, there is difference in data. Let's make a summary. When you have always on availability group with secondary replica in synchronous commit mode enabled for read-only access, there can be data access latency. That is, the data that you committed in the primary may not be visible in the secondary for certain amount of time. I have seen customers make architectural decisions assuming the data access is without latency and later discovering these issues. If you have questions related to always on availability group, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.